we're here at the Holly High Voltage Experience. My name is Jacob Graham, and this is my 81 DeLorean DMC-12. I converted it over to electric. Along those lines, I decided to do sort of a scratch build of uh, uh, the inverter unit that drives the electric motor. Um, at that time, there weren't a lot of good aftermarket options, and my background is in engineering. So I worked on it in my garage, took about six months to develop that inverter. Uh, I finally got it working after a lot of blowing up a lot of parts, damaging things. Uh, but, you know, patience pays off in the end. I can run about 300 kilowatt continuous with it. So what we have here, the Nissan Leaf drive unit, kind of buried under, way up under there. What's kind of nice about it is that it makes the car from being, it was originally a rear engine car, so now it's a mid-motor car. It fits very nice up in there. So along with that, I ended up uh, going with a Nissan Leaf battery pack. It's 24 kilowatt hour. Um, you know, at the time I was building that, that was one of the most viable options out there for on the secondary market. So I have half the pack in the rear, and this battery box here, there's 24 modules. And up front, there's an additional 24 modules to make a total of 48, so I have the full pack voltage. I went to great pains to make sure that I didn't modify the original structure of the car, so the motor mounts to the original transaxle mounts and where the original motor mounts were in the car. I kept the interior largely as stock DeLorean as possible. So I'm using a uh, battery management system from a company called Ziva that, that allows me to also drive the original instrument cluster here. It was a, uh, originally a five-speed car, so I still keep the five-speed stick in it for looks, but then it just becomes a mode selection for the, for the inverter. We have, this is the charger, it's a 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger. Charge port, port is right up front here. This is on the factory car, this is where you fill up. So then this is the DC-DC converter, also comes out of a Chevy Volt, and that's synonymous like with your alternator. So it takes that, that 360, 400 volt pack voltage and steps that down to 13.8 to charge the 12 volt system. And that's what's, you know, stereo, headlights, VCU, you know, the other normal 12 volt accessories in the car. Uh, the additional items on the car is I have QA1 coilover suspension all the way around, I have big wheel wood brakes. It's always like a work in progress. I'm always, you know, upgrading it. You know, the next step is going to be, I want more capacity on the battery. I want to be able to go drive longer. I want to have direct DC charging. It's part of the reason why I ended up building the inverter myself was it just no, nothing really out there on the market. It's very wild west. But what's crazy is in a very short period of time leading into where we are today, the community has definitely t embraced you know, the, the EVs, and there are so many options out there. You have AEM, you know, for instance, that is, you know, it, it has their VCU products. And this is a, it's a big help for this, those of us in this community that like to do these sort of conversions. Because having options is wonderful, and it's nice not to have to build everything from scratch. I just really want to uh, thank Holly for putting this, uh, this event on and really embracing the EV community. I'm really looking forward to in the next year bringing something new, maybe enhancing this project here. It's exciting times, so I'm happy to be part of it.